Hey guys, I'm the Carbon Atom, and I am in my house. Yeah, it's better than yours. Damn right, it's better than yours. I could teach you, but I don't take something. I just forgot the words to that line. Anyway, in this video, I will hopefully, well, I will, but um, I'll teach you how to edit the texture on glass. Yeah. Um, and any other block really, the same principle applies, um, but I was, um, some user by the name of ABC something, I can't remember his name, um, but I'll probably annotate it after I've made this video, but he suggested that I make a tutorial for this, um, so I am, and hopefully by the end of this video, you and or, um, everyone will hopefully um, know how to edit a block's texture. Um, so yeah, um, I'll just hop over to my desktop and I'll get on with the, tutor with the tutorial. See you then. Okay, so here we are in my desktop and first, first thing you want to do is locate the minecraft.jar file. Um, and to do this, you hit start, in the search bar, you type in percent app data percent. If you're on, X, if you're on Windows XP, you just, you just type in run, hit enter, and then in the run search bar, you type in this same thing. Um, and then hit enter, go into dot .minecraft, bin, and you should see this minecraft file just it just says minecraft and and you want to drag that but before you drop it into your desktop you want to hold control and then drop and then drop it and what that does um it creates a copy of, of the minecraft file um so you you can close out of that now then you've got the minecraft file on your desktop then right click on it and hit extract files uh, okay and this might take a bit my computer's like very slow so yours probably take only a few seconds mine takes about a day okay it's nearly done there we go and yes this file okay then you have this file now you can delete the original uh, sort of original uh, minecraft.jar file now you have this um, now you open this and you scroll down oh wait no you, you, you have to find the terrain.png file terrain and it's a PNG file okay now you just drag and drop that on your desktop you don't you don't need to make a copy because it's not the original one in your original uh, minecraft.jar file and then you can close out of that and now you can delete the this copy of minecraft.jar file okay okay so now you have the terrain file and this um, file has all the textures of every block in Minecraft. Um, so now you want to highlight that, right click and open with um, paint.net. You want to have paint.net, I think it's a really good program for this. Um, you, you can't use Microsoft Paint unfortunately. Um, but you want um, a paint program that displays transparency um, and I'll show you what that means in a second but just go ahead and open it with paint.net give it a sec as always there we go nearly, there we go um, now you want to zoom in and you'll see all the blocks here but you want to zoom in to the glass 
block, which is over here. And this is what I mean by transparency. This um, grey and white checkerboard pattern in the background means that wherever that is, that area is transparent. So you can see through it, and that that's um that's why you can see through glass effectively. Um, if you if you look at the iron block, there's no um, grey and white checkerboard pattern because iron is not opaque, and the same for gold, coal, and diamond sponge. Um, the mob spawner, um, there's a little bit of checkable pattern, but not as much as glass, um, because you can just about see through it. Um, anyway, um, getting back, now, from here, you can do whatever you want with it, really. Um, yeah, because, yeah, that's it, really. Um, you can apply what I, what you're gonna do here to any other block. It, it's the same thing, you know, as long as you don't, like, if you're only editing an, indivi an individual block, you don't go out of the border of that block. Um, otherwise, you'll start tampering with other textures that you probably don't want to tamper with. But anyway, I'll just go ahead and make my texture. Um, as you probably saw in my sugarcane farm showcase. I'm just going to delete all of inside, and now the whole thing is transparent and it's more clear um, however I'll just go over the edges um, as I said you can do whatever you want but I very much like this pattern give me a second and that should be it Okay, there we go. Um, one sec, let me just look at my notes here. Um, oh yeah, then you just then you save it. And I'll save it to your desktop. And yeah, there it is. Now you can close out of that. And here you have it. Now. Um, you want to highlight it, right click on it, and send to, um, send to compressed zipped folder. Yeah, th this is very important, it won't work um, if you don't do this. Send to compressed zip folder, and you'll see it come up over here, or wherever really. Um, and it will be named the same, so it doesn't have to look like this by the way, it might show a folder or whatever but it should work because as long as you followed what I've done correctly now what you want to do is rename it right click rename and you can rename it to anything um, you want as long as, oh wait no as long as it ends with dot zip. It has to end with dot zip. Um, now you go into the percent, you go into the um, dot minecraft file, percent at data percent, as I showed before, dot minecraft, go into texture packs. You can, all, you can, you can also do this by um, going into your and going into Minecraft and then selecting mods and texture packs and opening the Minecraft and opening the texture packs folder from there. But yeah, whatever. Um, it to open Minecraft is a little bit slow, especially since I'm recording. So this is a bit faster. Now you just drag your zipped um, texture pack thing into the texture pack folder, and there you go. That that's it. That's the that's all you have to do to edit your texture pack. Um, you can also make your very own texture pack by doing this. You can edit every single block if you want to. 
Um, but I um, I very much like the default texture pack, apart from the glass. Obviously, that's what I just that's why I just edited it. Um, so I'll hop back into Minecraft and I'll show you the end results. Yeah, I forgot to mention that um, to for, for your texture pack to work, you're going to need to um, activate it. And to do this, you click on Mods and Texture Packs on the main screen of Minecraft, and just highlight um, the texture pack that you made. And I noticed something after you made the um, after I made this video that um, or after I made the um, desktop. Um, video um, that when I activated it myself it's called clean glass texture dot zip dot zip now I don't know why um, but I think it's because if you remember when I um, uh, when I compressed it to a zip folder um, the um, the symbol was um, it was the WinRAR symbol, um, the one with the th three books on it, um, purple, blue, and green. I'm not sure if you know it, but that's it. That's the symbol. And I think it's because that was the symbol. I saw a video of another person do this, and his was a folder. So, and his was only only a singular single zip. Um, so I think that's why it, it doesn't affect it at all. Um, I just wanted to make sure that you have got the dot zip and it's alright if there's two of them. Um, so anyway, um, now I'll hop into Minecraft and show you the end result. But just be sure to activate it. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so here we are back in my house and as you can see, success! It has worked. Um, the glass now has a clear texture, just like I edited it um, on the terrain.png file. And now you will have no more interferences, if you like, when you look through glass. Um, thank you for watching. Um, now I leave you with a joke, um, a very cheesy joke that my friend told me which I found stupidly hilarious. Okay, here goes. Um, what? Um, what? Which road is made out of paper? The A4. Laugh. Um, I thought that was quite funny when I first heard it. Um, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. I'll see you next time. Bye.